how can I make someone fall in love with me? This is a very common question that we get asked and one of our subscribers asked us to do a spell on this so we decided we would. So let's get started. Now we all know that love is one of the most basic of human needs and it seems that it's also one of the most unfulfilled needs. But what we want you to know is that you have the power to inflame sexual desire in anyone that you want. You literally can make your most romantic target feel such strong emotional attraction to you that they become obsessed. So instead of just talking about that to you, we actually want you to participate with us in a spell, in a ritual. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to ask you to go and collect the ingredients that you'll need for this spell and then you're going to come back press play again and then we're going to walk through this spell step by step together it's pretty awesome because we want you to have the power yourself witchcraft and spells is a learned skill it's not a skill that happens overnight and you're not born with it it's a learned skill so let's get started first thing we want you to do is collect a red candle. It can be any type of red candle, so long it's long and tall and you can inscribe a name into it. To inscribe the name, you'll either need a needle or you can use a black sharpie if you like. And then we're going to ask you to collect something. It's always better to have something from the, from the person that you're desiring, be it nail clippings, hair, or something they wrote on, a piece of their clothing, anything. Then we want you to really believe in yourself that you are the most powerful tool and this will actually happen for you. Now go collect those things and come back. Remember that this spell is best done at night time. All spells involving love should be done when the person of your intention is asleep. That's why we do all types of love magic and love spells late at night. So, so let's, let's begin. begin. Now if you can meditate or sit quietly just to come into state for about 10 to 15 minutes before you press play, that would be awesome. However, for the sake of time right now, we will just say that we want you to breathe in at least seven times some really deep breaths, breaths that take oxygen right deep into your lungs and hold it and then breathe out. So we get you to do this just so you can get relaxed and be focused and really concentrate on what your desire is, what the intention is that you want from the other person. Really focus intently on what this intention is. This is a secret to any powerful magic spell and this is why it's always better that a spell is done by the person who wants the spell. So we want you to pick up the red candle, write the person's name on it and write their date of birth. Inscribe it with the black sharpie or with the needle. Once you've done that, we want you to turn off the light, light the candle, and then sit there and really focus on this intention. Breathe in, breathe out. Focus and concentrate on what your desire is. Now we want you to make sure that you're looking at the name on the candle. Look at Look at his or hers na her name. Focus on it. Really get clear what you want that person to do. Now hold the object belonging to the person in your right hand. Gaze deep into the candle's flame and watch the candle dance, losing yourself in the natural trance that will come. This could take seconds. It could take minutes. There's no rush whatever it takes for you to clear your mind and really focus on the intention. 
when you're looking into the candle's flame, still entranced, feel the personal object that's in your right hand and visualize the effect that you want it to have. Bring the image of that person into your mind as clearly as possible. The name written on the candle and the object in your hand will make it very easy to establish this kinetic connection. Now you need to visualize yourself with that person. You can, you can visualize yourself making love to the person or touching or kissing the person. Imagine some future scenario between you and that person. But the key is to visualize something that will occur in the future that is symbolic of the success of this ritual. Now repeat the incantation. And I'm going to name the person, person's name. But you'll put whoever's name into that place. The person's name come to me. Person's name come to me. Person's name come to me. Really focus on it and repeat it. Part of Hindu magic is really in the repetition. Up to 108 times a Hindu will repeat to get in, into state. We often do our spells three to seven times repeating the intention. Continue to focus on the future outcome that you've visualized. Keep repeating, person's name come to me, person's name come to me. Through the process of this visualization and incantation, take all of your emotion, your desire, your obsession, your lust, your longing, and push that out of yourself onto the candle's flame. Push it out of yourself onto the flame. Continue to visualize the person that you intend to attract and continue to recite the simple incantation until all of your energy and emotion is exhausted. Finally, the ritual will end by stating, by the powers of magic which are within me, I command person's name come to me. I'll repeat it. By the powers of magic which are within me, I command person's name to come to me. By the powers of magic which are within me, I command person's name to come to me. Here you can be more specific as to what you'd like to achieve as your final outcome. Remember, a spell is totally personal and in your own book of shadows you will write down your own personal incantation. One of the keys to successfully imprinting your will upon the world or upon another person is that you need to exhaust all of your desire for the end result in the ritual. Now, keep breathing and thinking about the intention. You, you'll start to feel it within your body. Do you feel your body tingling? Do you feel the power within you? Hold that power. Hold the power. And then repeat the spell. Repeat the incantation. And push all that energy back into the candle. You can do this as many times as you will into the candle's flame. Now, this is where we're going to leave you. You can stay here as long as you want putting this on pause it's very simple to do so you'll be able to be on your own very soon but it's often said that as soon as you forget that you've even performed the ritual the results will come and this is why it's so important to push all those emotions and thoughts out of yourself while performing the ritual and this is just a very simple example of the energy that you have inside of yourself and how you can use it to make substantial changes in your life we want you to continue staring at this flame and think about your power and think about the intention think about this person that you want to have desire and lust after you blessed be